The last thing we're going to talk about goes back to a little bit of the CG, CD Project Red, and it is talking about the um, Cyberpunk 2077 or 2077. Oh what, you waiting for that, man? Dude, what's yeah, that game going to be about? Oh, it's based on a tabletop game. <clears throat> but it's pretty much going to be like a sci-fi game. So it's going to be crazy. Yeah, um, yeah, it's going to be a sci-fi role-playing game. Yep. Oh. And they are saying that this game, which... Coming from CD Projekt Red, considering the amount of support and the great devs that has pretty much come out with The Witcher... They have pretty much fallen into that category for me as Remedy. Like, okay, put it out, I'm going to buy it. You know what I mean? Like, how could you not buy it after doing great work? Why wouldn't you buy it, you know? Unless the game just purely didn't interest you. Like, as far as, like, it's role-playing or the sci-fi, if you hate sci-fi or, you know, whatever. But anyway, CD Projekt Red falls in that category for me. Even though I don't know much about the game, I'll pretty much get it because, you know, it's a great... Um, Great developers. Head. Yeah. So it says that the game is going to be far, far bigger than The Witcher 3. And that means that it's going to be massive. <laughs> like, yeah. dude, that's, that's ridiculous. It says The Witcher helps Cyberpunk quite a bit because the game got so big and so complex that it really taught us. He said... We really didn't know what was going to happen. If anything, working on The Witcher 3 was a really good and often brutal learning experience. Cyberpunk is going to benefit greatly from it, and I, I can almost guarantee it. Um, the game was first revealed in 2012, and although it did not have a name, CD Projekt Red confirmed that the game would be based on the pen and paper RPG system, or uh, Pond Smith Cyberpunk pen and paper RPG system. Um, <laughs> was announced to October 2012 and they did have to sacrifice it says they're not planning to discuss this game until 2017 at the earliest damn damn choosing to focus on The Witcher 3 okay I like that and I don't like that because number one that sucks because you can't get another game but number two that's great because that means they're actually taking the time to focus on Witcher 3 and making it all that it can be so you know it's a give and take so either way um, something you have to take in consideration for when they say that this game is going to be really big and we'll touch on this and then we're going to get out of here The Witcher is 40 square miles okay, in the game okay? That's it? That's it? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah <laughs> 40 <Shoot>. square miles <laughs> Grand Theft Auto is 49 What's Just Cause 2? Like 400 square miles? And that was on 360. Let me see. Mm. I think Just Cause 2 was like 25 times bigger than Skyrim. What? Um, just Cause 2 or Just Cause 3? Just Cause 2. Just Cause 3 is 400 square miles. The new one coming out. Hmm. Okay, well, anyways. the But I mean, considering that Grand Theft Auto was... 49? Yeah, 400 square miles, you're right. Oh, no, that's just called 3 is 400 square miles. Dang, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Okay, but, okay, take GTA as, GTA as 49 square miles. That right. game has cars, boats, planes, all that stuff. Parachuting. <laughs> you say what? Choppers. You don't think Chopper, it, honestly, you don't think GTA is kind of big for nothing? Like, there's a lot of nothing in that game too. Like, <laughs> a lot of empty space, especially that whole mountainous aspect. It takes a lot of of the map, and it's just nothing there. Right, but it's still 49 square miles. Uh, yeah. Like, okay. and even I mean, seriously, think about it. You're at the bottom of the map. Now you got to drive up to the top of the map. Like, I would be like, no, that's not happening. Somebody Ooh, would get yep, Going from the city to Trevor's house is annoying. Oh, my God. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Okay, now imagine the Witcher has a fucking horse. And it's Dude. 40 square miles. That's it's true. It. Dude, when I had to go I mean, from the Baron's house in the Witcher to his daughter, and it was in the right. same uh, map. Dude, it was long. It was like, what is that? What, they go by kilometers in that game or something? 
I was like 1,500 kilometers away. Oh, Dude, wow. it took me a long time. That's why I, I traveled school. a lot of that map. I traveled a lot of that map playing, and man, after I finished it, I'm like, dude, fast travel, fast travel, fast travel. <laughs> you get a lot of stuff. Like, in that game, if you're not trying to, like, do a, a money glitch or something, it is really worth it to to travel because you get so much stuff and loot so much crap. It's ridiculous. So, anyways, being that that's that massive of a game in comparison to The Witcher, that you only had a horse... I mean that, that's that's pretty crazy. So that that's good for them, you know. I mean that that looks something that's something to be interested in. The only bad thing about it is just they're not going to talk about it until 2017. So, but that's just good news because I know there's a lot of people that are excited about the game that know a little bit more about it. From the screens they, um, that I'm looking at, it looks really cool. Yeah, they had a trailer and people were asking CD Projekt Red when it's going to come out, and they had released I think it was a video. It said coming, and then it was like dot, 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 dot. And they were like, wow. when it's done. I was like, wow, really? <laughs> gotcha. So they're not trying to rush it at all, which is good, like you said. Right, yeah. Which is fine, you know. Just, I mean, they haven't really released anything. I mean, anything, anybody can make a trailer. How many trailers of games do we don't even know about come out or don't even really know about, and they just disappear and they just never see it again, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. On that, that's about all we have for today, and that we kind of had a light week in news, but holidays are coming. What games we got next coming out? What game is next, huh? Halo. That's, that's what I'm it. getting next. Yeah, that's what I'm getting next, Halo 5. Uh, Rock Band comes out, or not Rock Band, but Guitar, Guitar Hero, Hero 5 comes out on the right. 20th. Yeah, Guitar Hero comes out next, no, not next week. Two weeks from now, well, a week and a half. So, yeah. It's kind of getting. Then what? After that, we got what? Fallout. After that, yeah, Fallout and Tomb Raider. Fallout and Tomb Raider, man. Ooh, broke people. It's coming. Yeah. I'm paying, <laughs> for, I'm paying for Halo this week, just in case. I'm paying for it on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, me too. On the twentieth. Yep, on the twentieth, it's going down. It is going down. That console. Oh Man. yeah, life is, life is strange. Uh, the last episode comes out on the twentieth. How are those games? Uh, people seem to like them. Yeah, I've heard people several people it, say they like them. So. Every single time I try to start it, and then I'm just like, oh, I don't really feel like playing this right now. Mm. I, yeah, I tried nah, playing I the trial, but I feel it like in school and high school. I was like, nah. Yeah. Let's see, Tales of Zestiria for PS4, PS3, and PC comes out on the 20th. It comes out for PC, too? Yeah. Dude, why don't you just get that for PC? You were talking about it. <clears throat> Assassin's Creed Syndicate comes out on the 23rd. Yeah, I'm, I'm skipping that. I, I'm done with the yearly releases. Yeah, I'm waiting for that to be 20 bucks, then I'll get it. I'm not even doing that. Unity was such a disappointment that I, I'm not even messing with it. He said, meh. Eh, maybe I don't. No, I'm joking. Goosebumps comes out in four days. Goosebumps? What is? What's the gameplay in that? I was like, Goosebumps? Are you kidding me? And then I right. The yeah, game. I like how they try to play that as a PS4 exclusive. I don't know how that came about. Goosebumps? Yeah, like the article was oh, like no. PS3 and PS4. I'm like, it's coming on Xbox One, 360, PS3, PS4, and the 3DS. Yeah, 3DS. Gang is on 3DS. Can you imagine how shitty it's going to look on the TV? Goosebumps. Besides how shitty it is, Goosebumps. <laughs> I'm getting it, so whatever. Yo, uh, it, you ain't about that not, life. <laughs> you ain't about kind of a big one. <laughs> Minecraft Story Mode Episode 1 comes out in three days. Is that Microsoft exclusive or no? No. It's a uh, Xbox One, 360, PS4, PS3, and PC. What game? I think it's the, the Tales Tales people, isn't it? Damn, that game's gonna sell like crazy. Yeah. 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 No, no, that's coming out for everything. No, that the the, the Minecraft story game. So my Microsoft is allowing Minecraft to be on everything. Yes. I mean, okay. Yes, because that is a that is Microsoft bought, not Xbox. That didn't come out of Xbox money. That came from Microsoft. Oh, okay. Yeah, so whenever they did that, that didn't take money away from games or anything that had to do with the Xbox division. You know what's funny? That developer, he's like, I don't, he doesn't like the fame and stuff. Man, 
Tell him to go. He didn't like the money. Out. Well, if he didn't like it, he should have not taken that one billion, right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Anybody got five bucks out there I can borrow for lunch? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. But nah, oh well, he'll be all right. He can go cry himself a river. He can buy himself a therapist. To come a lot of these indie devs are like that, though. Like that guy who made Fez, he was just like he couldn't take the uh, like stardom or whatever. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and we're gonna end on that note. And uh, thanks for checking us out, guys. We appreciate it to all of y'all that listened. Uh, we will upload this Monday separated in topics. Check out fanboysofgaming.com for all your gaming news without the bullshit. Check out Fanboys of Gaming group for nothing but other cool gamers and don't have to deal with bullshit. Check out our other videos of gameplay and we have no bullshit there also. And we'll catch you next time. I am Reaper. Catastrophe. Sticky. And we'll catch you next time. Links will be in the description below. Y'all take it easy. Have a good one. Take care.